We are back at it again here with another video with Invest for tomorrow. To the first time viewers and investors, welcome to the channel. To all subscribers, welcome back. I'll ask for returns for the smash that like button to them and you watch this video. Helps out the YouTube channel and lets me know you appreciate the time and effort I put into making these videos. So here we are with MUL and stock, Molin Automotive Inc. And the stock is fighting to hold itself up here, trying to form a support while the overall market was going up higher, right? The spy went higher and our spy bot at 9 35 a.m sent out a bull indicator and from that moment forward call options went up a hundred percent or 200 percent plus within an hour and this is our new release that allows us to have an edge within the volatility of the markets to maximize on opportunities whether stocks are going up or going down and you can now gain access to it as well the link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicator getting connected to the spy bot qqq bot our newly released tesla bot and we have other bots on the way so that you can receive the clarity and edge that you deserve within the volatility of the markets to maximize on opportunities and you can now join the members using these resources maximizing in either direction by receiving this clarity and edge over the charts so annual land stock holding itself up here trying to form support we're gonna talk about some key levels but before we do i'm gonna share with you guys the two home run opportunities i mentioned this morning over at the discord so the home runs of the day were spectacular and beyond expectations and if you guys want to know about these stocks early on in the pre-market check out the link down below in the description to the discord and by joining you'll become part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together and we strive for opportunities like these every single day so these are the two stocks i mentioned this morning and both of them gave jumps of three to five percent five to ten percent plus and 20 percent plus at their highest points giving a home run opportunity both of them right we caught them in the pre-market under a bull indicator here jan and it was having strength on 42 vision and it started pulling upwards consolidated towards the bell and took off for a highest point of 25 percent plus in a matter of minutes and then we caught here hlbz pulling downwards and consolidating towards the bell got that bull indicator and strength on 42 vision and jumped up for a highest point of 20 percent plus as well in a matter of minutes if you guys want to know about these stocks early on in the pre-market check out the link down below in the description to the discord we look forward to having you join us and we strive for opportunities like these every single day let's jump into these charts so here we are with MEO Land Stock, Molin Automotive Inc. And as I stated earlier in the video, trying to build support here within the volatility. We have some key levels to talk about, but before we do, I'm going to pull up the Born Bear Indicators, which you can now gain access to as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 Vision Indicator, getting connected to the Spy Bot, the QQQ Bot, our newly released Tesla Bot, and we have other bots on the way so that you can receive the clarity and edge that you deserve within the volatility of the markets. And you can now join the members using these resources to maximize in either direction by receiving this clarity and edge over the charts. And you can join the Discord as well, where we have a daily watch list, weekly watch list, and our morning briefings, and a community of investors all looking to learn and grow together. So, MULN stock, Molin Automotive here. As you can see at the beginning of this video here, this was under red with green borders and just shifted into dark green, trying to push itself back up even though it's under a bear indicator since the pre-market at 138, right? So if I pull up the four hour here, you could see that MULN stock has been under a bear indicator since 129. And I stated in these moves, if no bull indicator popped up to cancel this out in the bigger picture, this bear indicator is dominating over the chart guys. And quickly we've shifted from bright green to dark green to dark green with red borders. Okay. On the four hour i've been watching this very carefully and sharing it with you guys now on the one day you could see that it has a bull indicator in the volatility right it's been shifting from dark green to dark green with red borders back to dark green and now we're back to dark green with red borders but still under a bull indicator so right now the bear indicator on the four hour has not been canceled but there's a bull indicator on the one day that has not been canceled or even the bars have not switched over to red, right? That would signify possible further weakness. And that's what I'm watching in this direction. If it was to turn red or get a bear indicator that cancels this out, still has not happened, okay? On the one day. Now on the four hour, yes, we have a bear indicator. Has not been canceled out by a bull indicator. 
but we still haven't shifted as well into red bars and i'm watching all of this closely because eventually it gets canceled out or it's going to actually continue to dominate the overall picture if this shifts into red bars and continues to the weakness to the downside right and that's why we're going to talk about resistance and supports based off the 30 minute so on the 30 minute here the chart is under a bear indicator you could see how much volatility has been going on the last several days but the maximization point was from white with red borders to the bright green areas right those are the complete shifts from dip areas to rip areas and these have been the complete shifts from rip areas back towards dip areas as it's happened two times right that's what it allows us to see the dips from the rips extra confirmation with the bull indicator extra confirmation with the bear indicator when things are going down from the rip area to the white with red borders dip area right that's what it allows us to see the dips from the rips to maximize within the volatility that's the goal that's the purpose i don't think volatility is going anywhere and this is not financial advice this is my opinion alone but being able to see the dips from the rips and maximizing on those moves is where the opportunities are right now guys because the volatility is here so instead of trying to go against it move with it and that's what we try to do with 42 vision and that's the goal so the support here is 128 that's the low of the pre-market the lowest point of the day if that gets broken through then the next support is down here at 120 and worst case scenario 112 in the last two support levels of this week and last week right now to the upside we want to see this break above the high of the day 137 and most importantly where the bear indicator popped up at 138 so 137 138 give or take now above that level if a support could be found and built we want to see this bear indicator get canceled out and a bull indicator pop up in the process to the upside and then we need to break above 150 and most importantly the recent highs of 154 before talking about the 160s and even higher so those are the key levels i'm watching to the downside and to the upside i look forward to seeing your thoughts down below even though MUL Lens stock got the big news yesterday of getting added on to the Russell Index, what do you think? What's your take? Is it good for the company long term or is it going to harm it or even destroy the chart setup as we see it right now? And to receive clarity over the charts, check out the link down below in the description. Whether you're a swing trader, long term trader, or even a day trader or scalper, this works on all time frames. If I pull up the 15 minute, you could see how things work out here within the volatility and even the five minute allowing dip areas to be seen confirmation with the bull indicator going into extreme strength here and then reversing back down getting that bear indicator and right now a bull indicator within the volatility and pushing up higher guys there's also opportunities for those that are looking at it at smaller time frames i always show the bigger time frames to do an analysis of the bigger picture and also show you guys what's going on with a little bit less volatility but this works on all time frames and also stocks crypto forex whatever it is that you trade there's opportunities to be found and made every single day guys check out the link down below in the description to the discord 42 mission indicators and getting connected to the bots